Regular trimming and examining of hooves should be part of any small ruminant health management plan. At a minimum, hooves should be trimmed one to two times a year depending on growth, nutrition, and environment. Hooves tend to be softer and easier to trim during wetter parts of the year, such as spring, and allows for early examination and detection of any impending issues that often occurs during wetter periods of the year. Prior to trimming, it is important that sheep are properly restrained to reduce injury and stress to both animal and human. There are several methods of restraint. For sheep, this includes sitting on its rump, in a sheep chair, using a stand or tilt or turntable. To sit a sheep, firmly grip the sheep under the jaw with one hand and push their nose away from your body towards their hip. Simultaneously with your other hand, push their hip in the same direction towards the ground. When sitting a sheep on its rump, place the animal slightly off center so most of its body weight is on its hip rather than the dock. When done properly, the sheep should not struggle and should be easier to handle. When using a deck chair, the motion of sitting a sheep in the chair is like that of sitting on its rump. From there, you can easily examine and trim the hooves. To place a sheep on the stand, position the sheep and lift their front legs onto the platform. And once they're on the stand, you can secure the sheep by placing them in the headpiece. To use a turntable, it is important to calmly handle the animals by allowing them to walk into the chute, catching them in the head gate to secure, and squeezing down the bars to hold the sheep. Once the animal is safely secure, you will use your foot to release the turntable, using your hands to rotate the tub until the tub clicks. From there, the bottom of the table can be released, giving access to the feet. When the animal is safely secured using one of the previously described methods, then the hooves can be trimmed. There are a variety of tools available for trimming hooves, costing from $10 to hundreds. These tools can be found at any livestock supplier. When looking for a hoof trimmer, it is important to purchase one that is durable, sharp, and is comfortable for you to handle. For this video, we're using a handheld trimmer. When trimming, care should be taken to not over trim. Over trimming can result in bleeding and toe granules, which can contribute to lameness. As a hoof grows, the outer wall grows continuously and folds under the foot while the tip of the hoof becomes pointy. It is important to clean out any debris and mud first. If the toe has become overgrown and pointy, remove the sharp point and then move along the wall of the hoof, removing excess growth. It may be necessary to also remove excess growth on the wall of the hoof in between the claws and along the heel. A properly trimmed hoof should rest flat on the ground with the outside claws curved slightly in. Ideally, a trimmed hoof should support the weight on the outer edge of the hoof wall and bulb of the heel, with little support on the soles of their hoof with the bone in the hoof at roughly a 55 degree angle to the ground for the front and 50 degree angle for the back. Although care is needed to not over trim hooves, Regular trimming can help detect and mitigate hoof issues and help prevent lameness. While hoof trimming can be a chore, it is important to use a sharp hoof trimmer and find a method of restraint that works best for you and your farm to complete the task safely and efficiently.